guys, today I'm going to be opening and reviewing some items themed to Bento lunch boxes. I ordered these items online and the package just arrived, so today I'm going to be opening them up and taking a look at them. So I ordered two Bento lunch boxes and a lot of Bento box accessories as well. We have some cutters, there's also some sticks, and then there's also different accessories too. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to be notified every time I upload a new video. So let's go ahead and open up the first item. So I did order a total of two bento boxes today. This one is really great for hot food. There is a separate compartment that should keep it warm. So that's the reason why I got this one. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It seems to be like a really heavy lunchbox compared to the other one, of course, because it has that separate compartment. That's what it looks like. There are multiple different colors to choose from. I went with the color purple, but there is also orange and yellow, and of course that blue-green color too. So let's take it out, and I'll place it down like so. So let's go ahead and take it out of this plastic here. And this is what it looks like. So you can see the theme is of course purple. It's light purple on the top and it's darker on the bottom and there's a green handle as well. So the brand is called Omi, I'm pretty sure, O-M-I-E. I'm going to go ahead and lift the lid up. Let's see if it opens. Seems a bit tricky. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it up like so. I'm pretty sure this is how you open it. There you go. And that's what it looks like. So there are multiple different compartments. And you can actually move this as well, so you can keep it long or else you can separate it and have it into two smaller compartments. And I think you can buy more of these as well, so you can make them smaller or larger, just completely depends. And then here's the hot section, so you remove it. It's quite small, but it's just a good little section if you want to add rice or noodles or something. And then you can close the lid, like so. And then it should stay heated until you're ready to eat it. It is very sturdy as well, and also really heavy too, which I'm surprised about. It'd be quite heavy to bring somewhere if you have to have it in your bag, so it'll be interesting to try out. As for the lids for these two compartments, there is no lid at all. There's only this suction section on the top part of the actual lunchbox lid, and that's meant to just hold everything together so nothing spills. There's a lid here, of course, so there's no suction point at the top. It is so sturdy, so I'm really interested to see if anything leaks, but that's why it's so hard for the lunchbox container to open and close, because of course it's just holding everything together so nothing spills. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the lunchbox accessories before we take a look at the second bento box. So here we have some small cutters that are really good for bread or cheese or maybe even fruit. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up. There's a total of eight in the set. And they are all so adorable. And it would definitely personalize your lunchbox as well. So you can see some of the shapes here. There's a heart, there's also a star, there's a duck and a plane, so many different shapes. And they're all quite small as well. Go ahead and spread them out. And they should be really easy to use as well. And I really do like how there's a variety to choose from as well. When I saw these on the website, I knew I had to order these. They are so adorable. So they're eyes, so you can decorate your lunch. So there's a total of four smaller ones, and then there are three sets of the larger ones. The larger ones, each eye has a separate little compartment, so you can stick them down like so while the little ones here are connected together as one and then you place it down. So you can decorate your foods, whether that's egg or vegetables or fruit, anything of the sorts. Just makes your lunch a lot more fun. So this one is of course themed to eyes. There are so many different themed ones. You can get animals or anything like so. But these ones are themed to eyes. I think that's interesting and it's just very neutral and classic. So you have different shaped ones. This one has little sparkles. Same with this one as well. This one's just classic eyes and they're all just really great. So if you're planning on bringing a salad for lunch or you need some sort of dip, you definitely need some sort of container so it doesn't spill. So I bought this pack of four. They're just very classic with some pictures in the front. So there's mushrooms, rainbow, clover, and star. And you go ahead and open it up and it's just a small little section. So I think this is really great for salad dressing so your salad doesn't get soggy for when you arrive and you wanna have your lunch. It just wouldn't be great if the salad dressing was on top of it. So you can have it over at the side when you're ready, you can open it up or else you can have it for a dip. You can put maybe hummus or tzatziki and you can have it with some fresh fruit or vegetables. 
This item probably doesn't look very interesting. It's a crinkle vegetable slicer, so you can see it's all crinkled at the bottom, and then when you slice the vegetables, it just gives it more of a crinkled effect rather than just placing it down like so. I've never tried anything with a crinkle on the bottom, like a slicer or anything like that, so I think it'll be really interesting to try out. If you saw in the first bento box that I showed you, if you wanted to place smaller items into the lunchbox, it would definitely move around since the compartments are quite large. Even though there are dividers, I've been recommended to get the bento cups. So that's why I got a total of two packs. The first bento box that I opened up was purple, and then the next one I'll be taking a look at is in the color blue. So I got one of each, and there's a total of three in each pack. Let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and open these up just to give you an idea of what they look like. Here's the bento cups out of the packaging. So they aren't firm at all. They are very flimsy, which is great. So you can place them into smaller compartments. And as I said before, I did get the particular colors for the lunch boxes, but you can totally change them around. You can have the blue and the purple lunch box and vice versa, just to give it a bit more color and style as well. Up next, we have some more food cutters. There's a heart, a star, and a flower. So there's a three pack in this one. There aren't as many included in this one as there are in the other ones because this one is a lot larger. So this one decorates the actual rice and the main part of the meal, while the smaller ones decorated more of the accessories on the top. So that would be more for meats and cheese or egg or anything of the sort. But it seems like it's really simple to use and it will also personalize your lunch too. Here we have a Hello Kitty rice mold. There are a total of three different pieces to the set. There is the main part of the mold, there is the bottom, and then there is the top as well. These items are called food rings. There's a total of three in the set, and they're all themed to winter time or winter wonderland. So this one says winter wonderland on the front, and the back two have pictures of snowflakes. These items are sticks. They're really great if you want to make fruit kebabs or meat kebabs. I probably use them for fruit more than meat, but I still think they're really great. So there's a couple of different colors to choose from. I decided to go for the really bright ones over the pastel ones. I thought they would suit the lunchbox more, but you can see there's little stars on the top there. I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the packaging. And as I said before, there are a total of seven in the set. I think my favorite colors would have to be this teal blue one and also this pink one as well, but they're all really great and wonderful and you can constantly be changing your lunchbox. The last item we take a look at today is the second Bento lunchbox that I ordered online. This one is so lovely. I love the snowflake design on the front. I'm going to go ahead and remove it out of the packaging, but this Bento box is more ideal for sandwiches or salads, items that stay cold rather than the other one. The other one's really great for hot lunches. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And then I'll take it out of the packaging. The snowflake design is so gorgeous on the front. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the lunchbox to see what it looks like inside. So it is quite lightweight on the bottom. It's just the lid that's really heavy and I'll show why later on. But there's a total of three different compartments. There's a larger compartment on the bottom to fit you know, sandwiches, salads, things like that. And there's a smaller compartment on the top. So there's a total of two of those. This would be really great for some sort of fruit or crackers and over here you can place something else. I'm going to go ahead and turn it to the side so I can show you what the lid looks like. As you can see, the lid is very similar to the other one where they have these suction items on the top there, so you don't need a lid for each compartment and the lunch should be able to stay like so. I hope it is leak proof because items will definitely start leaking out if it doesn't suction in place. But I do really like this lunchbox so far, but I wouldn't be able to know how good it is until I try it out. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.